Now let's say we want to graph a line and we only have one point, but we do know what the slope of that line is going to be. So if we look at this example, we have a point 0 comma negative 4 and the slope is going to be 1 half or 1 over 2. Notice that this slope is a positive number, so we should see an increasing or positive line on our graph. What I'm first going to do is go ahead and plot this point on my graph. So 0, negative 4. Here is 0 on the x-axis, and I'm going to go down negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I know that my slope is 1 half. Now the slope is also referred to as rise over run. So that means I'm either going to go, in this case, I will go up 1 and I'll go to the right 2. So if I go up 1 and to the right 2, I've got another point. In fact, I could keep doing that to get additional points. But you're only going to need to do it once to get to, to have enough uh, points to make your line. So if I connect, you can see that this line is increasing or it is a positive line. Let's go ahead and do another example. Let's say we have negative 6, comma, negative 2, and our slope is negative 5 sevenths. So Remember, this could be negative 5 sevenths or 5 over negative 7 or negative 5 over 7. You have choices. So let's plot our point, negative 6 is going to be our x, so we're going to go to the left, 6, and then down 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and down 2. That's our point. Now our slope is a negative 5, 7. So that means one of our um, either rise or run is going to be negative. I'm going to go ahead and go up 5 and then to the left 7. So if I go up 5, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then to the left 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've got another point, and now I'm going to connect those points using my straight edge. And I've created a line. And again, notice this line is decreasing. And you can tell it was going to be decreasing because the slope is a negative number.